Oh, this is a video. Oops. Anyways, um, I'm just going through my little YouTube comments and I want y'all to know that my favorite part about YouTube is the commentary. I haven't been getting very much comments because I noticed that, you know, I haven't necessarily been engaging because I haven't been able to. My office was all messed up. But now that I am, baby, we about to get back on it. And all y'all with them rude comments, I hope you know we about to get we about to get serious. I just saw somebody uh, comment on one of my videos, what the F-U-C-K, after I poured my heart out in Popstar. First of all, Popstar was lit. You ain't got to tell me. I know it was fire. But you saying what the F-U-C-K and nothing else tells me that you liked it too, but you too much of a hater to say, congratulations, bitch. And real quick shout out to all of my bad bitches that actually like my songs. So I got Sanya Williams. Thank you so much, baby. I got my girl Natasha. And of course, my girl Chanel. Those are all my bad bitches that actually have a good heart and that know how to show love. Everybody else, I mean, I can't say everybody else because there's too many of y'all to generalize you and put you in one box. But I do want to thank all y'all for all y'all's love and support. It means so much. But all that other hater ass stuff is just trash. Even like with old boy that was calling my phone. First of all, he would call my phone morning, noon, and night all the time. Just, just leaving long, weird voice messages while he was at work. Nikki, you ain't got nothing else to do while you at Walmart supervising than to call my phone. And that's no disrespect to Walmart workers. I just figured that this nigga works at Walmart in the back office. Because you know them supervisors don't be doing shit but sitting back there eating Cheetos and shit on their break that they didn't pay for. And so when I got his messages, I would be like, this nigga is surely bored. He's either bored or lonely, but boredom and loneliness is the same thing. So the nigga is both. And I'm not trying to talk about all my, my lonely girls out there because I, I get it. Loneliness is hard. But that nigga, it just, it transcended him just being a regular, degular, old lonely ass nigga. He was just being he was just like have you ever had somebody that just wanted your attention so they would just do any old thing just to get your attention it don't matter if it's bad attention or not the type of nigga that just get a whooping every night just because his mama just sick of his ass that type of nigga i was like what's wrong with this fool what is wrong with you why on earth would you be on my phone chit-chatting all night long ain't got nothing else to do that shit is wild to me and it's crazy. And my grandma always told me if a nigga ain't got nothing better to do than be on your phone all night, then he either A1 ain't got no job or he ain't serious about his life. And I take it that he just wasn't serious about his fucking life. Couldn't have been. Excuse my French. But in all realness, thank y'all so much for streaming Popstar. The song is here on YouTube for free. You guys can sing along. But I do have another version that's actually much different that is on my uh, my Apple Music, Spotify. It's on Pandora. It's on Tidal. It's everywhere. So it's still acapella. It's still sang in the wind. It's still dope. Um, and you guys can listen to that moody little track. And as much as I'm saying uh, Drake could take the mask off for future, but he won't take a picture with me. I really don't care. That's truly inconsequential. But it just goes to show that niggas sometimes do the most. You do the least while at the same time doing the very fucking most. And that is very telling of someone's true character. I'm not trying to say Drake has bad character, but I'm mostly talking about these niggas that leave weirdo comments on your YouTube videos like the shit ain't fire. Anyways, I'm about to get up out of here. Thank y'all so much once again for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my shit. And uh, I will come back with another reading here very soon and going live. So...